Hey guys, my name is Kate and I'm currently a sophomore at Emory University. Uh, my initial intent behind this video was just to show a friend of mine who's coming to Emory next year, but I realized that this type of student perspective walkthrough might be beneficial to a lot of incoming or prospective students. So that's why I opened this channel and put it here. Um, a big disclaimer for this video is that I did take it on the last day possible to be on campus before winter break. So campus is completely empty and there are no students around, which is obviously not the case usually, but I thought it was a good opportunity to show the buildings, the inside unobstructed. Um, if you know anyone who's interested in Emory or coming to Emory in the future, feel free to share this video with them. I hope you enjoy. We're starting here outside of Harris Hall. This is where I currently live, and it's a combined sophomore freshman dorm. So if this is where you're assigned to live your first year, you'll obviously be spending lots of time here. Now heading across the street, we're going towards the business school, Goizueta. Any business classes you have will be held here right through these arches. You probably won't be spending that much time here as a freshman, but if you choose business as your major and matriculate in your following years, you'll be coming here a lot. Over here we have a little coffee shop called Costa's. They have some pretty good stuff there. Now we're going towards Schwartz, which is where your dance classes will be. This way is a parking lot. And I'm including Schwartz in this video because my freshman year when I was trying to find all my classes on the first day, um, I could not find this place for the life of me, so here it is, and for your dance classes, you'll just head down this hall through these two doors. This is also where you'll come if you have any orchestra classes. Going back through these doors, we have the business school area. To our right, we have the Patterson Green, which is where events, business school events such as kegs are held. Costas again, they have a really good Nutella bread there, it's super filling, but um, if you're looking for a sweet, satiating treat, I highly recommend. Now we're heading down Asbury, which is a main road that runs through campus. This building here is the library, which we'll take a look inside of now. This is obviously a super popular place for students on campus to hang out and study. Uh, the building in front of me is Candler, one of my personal favorite spots on campus. The Robert W. Woodruff Library is marked by the statue of Mr. Woodruff, and through here is an entrance to the quad, which I'll show you guys later. Coming into the library, you'll enter on the second floor and scan in. I'll show you guys uh, the third floor and how to access Candler, which I mentioned earlier. So I'm headed up to the third floor. The third and second floor are both floors that you can freely talk on. Uh, there are also quiet study floors if you want to concentrate. Obviously, there are usually way more students here. It's very empty now because of break, but very common place for students to come. Now, across this bridge here is Candler, which I mentioned earlier. I personally really like it just because it's super pretty and has a really nice academic ambiance. During the day, there's this very natural lighting, but I feel like the academic ambiance is kept up during the night with these small lights on the tables and the chandeliers. So yeah, it's just a really nice place to come and study. Restrooms, because that's important to know where they are. Now heading back down onto the second floor, this is the main entrance area again. Down these stairs is a first floor, and there's a small coffee shop on that floor called Banjo's, so if you need a break when studying, that's a good place to go. Main lobby has this nice natural lighting, and now we're gonna go check out the quad. The quad is where you'll spend a lot of time for your freshman orientation. Here's the bridge that we walked across to to get into Candler. I personally love campus, I think it's really beautiful, and this space here is nice to come if you just want to chill out, be outside, or take a walk. Obviously it's very empty now because of break, but usually there's a lot more students around here. This building in front of me here is Callaway, so if you have any classes there, this is where you will come. Now going down here, we're headed towards a modern language building. If you go towards the direction of this Emory sign, you'll reach Asbury again. This big building here is the modern language building, which may be where some of your language classes are held. Popular amongst first year students because you're right out of high school languages. Now we're headed towards Whitehall, which is where lots of classes are as well. Here we have the chapel and Whitehall. 
Whitehall, I've heard called the worst place on campus just because, see, look at all these other buildings, the theology, the chapel, all very nice, and then there's this, um, it's just kind of a box, the camera doesn't even want to focus on it, but yeah, <laughs> a little bit depressing, but the surrounding area is nice. Now we're headed back towards Asbury and we're gonna check out Cox Dining Hall. Through there is also another way to get to Asbury and towards the freshman dorms. Cox Dining Hall is kind of what I think of as the paid dining hall. You can pay with Dooley here, Dooley dollars, which is the campus currency outdoor seating area. It's a food court style place with different stations. There's coffee, Maru, which has like poke bowls, the Lebanese place, which is my personal favorite. I get the same thing every time. Um, and there's just really nice lighting in here, open. Up here is the Media Lab, which we'll check out now. This is the entrance to the Media Lab. As you can see down there is where we were just standing in the dining hall. And here's the Media Lab. It looks super depressing right now because it's dark and no one's in there, but it's usually more lively. <laughs> And this is the main Asbury area. This is right outside of Cox, where you can eat. This area has a lot of traffic during the day as people are going from the freshman dorms to classes and whatnot. And now we're headed towards a student center. On the lower level of the student center is the DCT, or Dobbs Common Hall, which is the main freshman dining hall, which is where you'll use your meal swipes. Here is Dobbs Dorm, which is where you'll be if that is where you're assigned. Here is the Woodpeck, which is the gym where you go to work out. Over here we have McDonough Field. Lots of events are held on there. Here's the Student Center. And heading up these stairs, it's a pretty big space. Here's a view from it. And now we're going to check out the South Student Center side, which has this nice entertainment chill area, TVs, video games. It's nice in there. <laughs> Going in here, we have the main student center area, the north building. Down the stairs, you can find the DCT, which is where you'll go to eat. And I spent a lot of time here as a freshman. I think it's a really great place to come and study just because of the nice natural lighting and it's really pretty. This is me attempting to go to the Eagle Emporium, but realizing it's closed. The Eagle Emporium is like the on-campus, I guess, convenience store, has snacks, ramen, stuff like that. I go there a lot. Um, and now we're gonna head towards the freshman dorms. So this is Terman, and this is Hamilton. This is where you'll be. This is the main freshman area. The green in front of me is called the freshman quad. This is Eagle, another residence hall for freshmen. And what I'm about to show you here, this archway, is on the Uber map, it's called Longstreet Means. That's where a lot of freshmen call Ubers too. So if your friends tell you meet you at Longstreet Means, that's what they mean. This is Raul, that's where I stayed, go Raul. And down these stairs is another coffee shop called Collies. Now we're headed back towards the student center. I'm gonna show you a little bit more of it because there's a lot of really good places to study in there that are right by the dorms. Very convenient. That is the other side of Raul. Raul's pretty big. So here's some areas to study, there's some pods, and going through this little hallway, again, really nice open lighting, study area, the Emporium, that's what I tried to go do earlier, and the main student area. Headed back out towards here, across from me, is the Moreau Theater. And here's the back of the Student Center. Down here is the Asbury Circle area. That's where we were walking earlier. Here's another glimpse of it. Remember, the DCT is on the bottom, Student Center on the top. This is Alabama, another freshman residence hall. And here's me in Asbury Circle with campus behind me. And I hope this was helpful. I'll see you on campus.